The BJP spent a massive 135 crore rupees in the Bihar Assembly elections, while Nitish Kumar's Janta Dal United spent just a fraction at 14 crores, less than a tenth of what the BJP spent. Those figures have been submitted by the parties to the Election Commission uh, of India as per a mandatory disclosure. Alok Pandey joining us at this point for more. Uh, Alok, uh, interesting how advertisements and uh, publicity blitz doesn't always get you the results you want. Well, yes, absolutely, Ankita. In fact, these are the documents. I'm not going to show all of them because they are exhaustive, but these are affidavits that are available on the Election Commission website. Now, as you pointed out, the BJP spent 135 crores. Now, about 50 crores were spent on publicity and another 40 crores on expenditures on choppers and aircraft. Remember that it was a high-profile campaign. Narendra Modi coming in multiple times, other star campaigners there. So, really, the massive expenditure of the BJP coming on two heads, the publicity, the media, and, of course, uh, the choppers and the aircrafts. Of course, uh, to put it into context, as you said, they won about 50 seats, more than a little more than 50 seats in the election. So really, a big loss for them, despite the money they spent. The JDU claims, Ankita, that they spent about 14 crores. Over 9 crores out of that money was spent on advertisements, on publicity. But remember, uh, around November 2015, the Bihar government had also started a massive publicity ex uh, exp exercise. And Nitish Kumar was very, very defensive when we asked him whether this was also election propaganda, because he said no. Uh, this is the government exercise and this is something that is separate. So that expenditure will perhaps be billed to the government. But on record, only 14 crores the JDU has spent. The Congress and the RJD allies of Nitish Kumar, now in government with him, are yet to submit their election expenditure despite two reminders from the Election Commission. Right. Talok, thanks very much indeed for joining us with those numbers.